I came here because America has no answers for macular degeneration, none. He wanted to know what the main concern was, which was the macular degeneration. Plus, I have long-term COVID that started 13 months ago. I was mostly interested in the eyes. And he got back to us with a plan. I think the thing I was most happy with is they treat the whole person. And I knew that the only chance I had was to try stem cells. That's why we came here. Hello guys, uh, would you please tell us where you come from and what brought you to Swiss Medical? We are from Las Vegas, Nevada in America. I came here because America has no answers for macular degeneration, none. And so I started searching approximately three, three and a half years ago, found you, but I didn't really know what you were. And then this year we discovered there are two clinics who treat it, but I was most interested in you worldwide that we found. But I was most interested in you, so we called and made an appointment. What made you choose us? Because you were actually going to do paraorbital shots plus the nasal and eye drops to really try to get to the blood vessels behind the eye. That's why. Yeah, I see. Uh, all right. Uh, a little bit about the process of applying for the treatment. Was it complicated? Was it long? Um, what did it consist of? Like, no, it was, it, yeah. Yeah, we, got, we contacted, we started reaching out and we got contacted by a man called Manas. Um, I think he's based in Switzerland, but he answered all our questions. He took us through step by step what was going to happen and he said, you know, and one of the really nice things was we show up at the airport and that's it. We're taken care of all the rest of the way until you take us and drop us off at the airport tomorrow. And so all our food was taken care of, transportation, room, everything. We didn't have to worry about anything and navigating the strange city and all that. So, and Manas uh, answered all our questions and really helped us out and made us feel like it was going to be a good experience. Did you have to provide him with all your medical reports, the medical history, or um, before before they offered you the treatment plan? He wanted to know what the main concern was, which was the macular degeneration. Plus, I have long-term COVID that started 13 months ago, and um, I was mostly interested in the eyes. And he got back to us with a plan, which I really liked. <laughs> Uh, all right, about the treatment itself, uh, is it as complicated or as easy as you imagined in your head? Uh, a little bit about the doctor, nurses, the medical staff, your okay. communication, interruption, how do you find them? I was first skeptical, I'm very skeptical. And so when we got here and they brought us down to our room, I was skeptical. But then the treatment started and I think the thing I was most happy with is they treat the whole person. It's not just the eyes. They try to find out, you know, what else is wrong, what is interfering. Uh, I got whole treatment and everyone was wonderful. The cooks were wonderful. Uh, Dr. God, Lana. Lana is, yes, sorry, Dr. Lana. Dr. Lana is amazing angel. Wonderful, explains, is kind, kind to the core. Uh, Yvonne was funny, the physical therapist. Um, I enjoyed him, he told me a lot about the body I didn't know, uh, which just goes to show you American medicine is lacking. So, um, well, my own opinion, if you have money, a lot of money, you can have medicine in America. If you have less, then you, you get what you have. For yes, <laughs> except for stem cell. It's illegal, yeah. so they won't do it. Okay, okay. Um, so you also got, as far as I understood, you also got some physio going on along with that. Yes. Um, I thought it was uh, very interesting, very different from American physiotherapy. And especially when Yvonne got back from a vacation, he explained so many parts of the body that are hurting me uh, from an uh, incident I had in 2001. And then he made the decision with Dr. Lana that they should treat my shoulder as well, which they did yesterday. Um, wonderful, wonderful, knowledgeable, kind people. Oh, it's a good bonus, yeah. Oh, yeah, it was wonderful. So, uh, before coming to Serbia, uh, have you had any challenges or fears? And if you did, uh, what helped you to, over to overcome those? 
Um, yeah, I was a little bit afraid about Serbia. Like you say, there's people think, oh, there are street gangs. And when we got here, he wanted to go in town and asked and, you know, a couple of the attendants said, there's no problem here. And he went in town, had no problems. I didn't get to, I was too busy in treatment. But now I know that Americans' conception of Serbia is wrong. It's a kind, nice place, safe place to be. So how was it? It was great. Oh, I, mean, there I had no preconceived notions of what it was going to be like. I mean, I know it's a modern, Belgrade's a modern city. It's a huge city. I mean, it's a famous city on the Danube, all the famous capitals on the Danube. You know, Vienna, uh, Budapest. Budapest, and Belgrade. And, but and, Belgrade is the third biggest city on the Danube River, and the Danube River is the biggest in Europe. Yeah, I and mean, so it's just, I mean, it's a modern, vibrant city uh, with a lot of old things. Uh, yes, when I went to town, I got to go to the outskirts of the, uh, the Great Fortress, which is amazing. It's right on the river, and you know, you can see how they just had battles there and stuff. And, it was really cool, um, but no, I, you know, I mean, obviously I'm old enough that I remember Yugoslavia, so <laughs> um, that was a long time ago, but, uh, but yeah, no, Serbia's wonderful people and you know, great, great place. So, um, a little bit of advice for those who have similar health issue as you have, like, uh, what is your story? how you've been treated uh, back in states, I mean, medically, and your story, how you came up to try our treatment, and a bit of advice. Okay, when I was first diagnosed in 2019 with macular degeneration, it had not happened yet, but they could see in the back of the eye and they knew. It was nine months later that the left eye went, and then this one, two years ago, started to go completely different, very slowly deteriorating. Um, in, I was going to a retinologist every six months in Las Vegas, and their answer was, okay, you have it, bye. And I knew then that there was no treatment. Now, they do have shots now that they give uh, for dry, but all it does is maybe give you up to 16% retardation in the progress of the disease. And I looked at her in August and said, well, you're about two, three years too late. And I knew that the only chance I had was to try stem cells. And that's why we started studying, where can we go? And, and there were two clinics you considered? Right? Yes, yes. One that a friend of mine, his life was saved in. Uh, he had COVID, very bad. And so, I mean, I contacted them. We, we were doing contacts at the same time. And uh, they were very nice too. Uh, you just offered so much more in depth for me, I thought. That's why we came here. 